I just finished voting and we came down into town to put gas at Costco's gas station and the lines are like major long. I don't know if you guys can see. Hi. It's, anyway, there's a ton of people in line today. I guess because so many places are actually off of work. They, um, yeah, the lines are long. So we're just waiting right now to get in and put some gas. So I just came from Tin Roof Maui, which is a little tiny hole in the wall restaurant that's that behind me. Um, Chef Simeon <clears throat> from Top Chef, I believe it was, he opened up this restaurant. Or not really a restaurant, like I said, it's a little hole in the wall and offers like poke style. So you got like fresh fish and kind of like um, like poke bowls and stuff like that. So I'm going to show you guys what I got. Okay, so I got the ulu mac salad and ulu basically is breadfruit. Um, I also picked up a pono pie and basically what this is is breadfruit, macadamia nuts, honey, sweet potato and haupia which is um, it's like a coconut um, pudding kind of deal and um, that's what it looks like here so it's like a sweet dessert that was five dollars and then I got a poke bowl, so their fresh fish poke bowl, which is the spicy tuna or the spicy ahi for today. And that's what it looks like here. Doesn't that look great? Oh my gosh, you guys are so hungry. But it's fresh fish, spicy ahi, furukake. It's got um, mochi crunch in here, oi sauce. So yum. But um, before I eat this, I will definitely go ahead and share it with you guys I'm starving I just came out of my doctor's appointment so I'm gonna run over to Target <clears throat> and then I am going to head home eat lunch as quickly as I can and pick up the boys today my eldest has band practice this afternoon he plays percussion and then football practice um, after that. So I'm going to pick up the twins. We're going to have some dinner. My husband made Girl Scout stew last night. That's like an old school favorite. My mom used to make for us as kids and my auntie and stuff because they were Girl Scouts growing up. So they had that. And I taught my husband how to make it. So he actually made that for dinner last night. So I'm super stoked to go home, have leftovers for dinner tonight. But also stoked to go eat my lunch so I'm gonna head over to Target and I'll be back all right so as promised I'm showing you guys what my poke bowl looks like so it is a spicy ahi um, served over rice it's got some furukake right there green onion some um, mochi crunch or arare this thing is freaking awesome looking man I can't wait to try it and then I also got, like I said, the Ulu Mac salad. And this is their Pono Pie. So it is, hold on, let me open this up. So that's what it looks like. It looks like it's got macadamia nut on the top, sweet potato, um, or in Hawaii we call it uala and um, haupia. So that's looking exciting. I'll let you guys know how all of that tastes. I'm going to dig into my lunch. So, let me get me a fork. I'll get some of this fish here. All right. So, here we go. Mmm, that's all no. That means that's delicious. Alright, I'm gonna eat my lunch and enjoy this lovely fresh fish pokeball. 
So I figured I would do a mail kind of share. I haven't been doing my mail call videos lately, but this just came in a mail from Farmhouse Fresh. And I have worked with Farmhouse Fresh many times on my blog um, before. It is one of my favorite um, skincare, bath and body kind of brands. And this is their mineral bath soak in lavender and hibiscus. So I'm super excited to try this. I don't use hibiscus things very often because I can be allergic to certain things with it. But I know it's going to be something definitely great for relaxing. It's got pink Himalayan salt in it. Um, so I'm excited to try that. And I have a few more things coming in the mail via FedEx later today. So I'll definitely be sharing those with you guys as well. I also wanted to share with you guys what I picked up from Target. This is just some of the things I did pick up. I seen this set for $9.99. And I'm a huge fan of these two mascaras. I haven't tried this one yet. Um, so I thought that was just a really good deal because they're usually $4 to $5 on mascara. And I thought that that would be a great way to have my backups. I also got this mini planner calendar pager, pages and dividers. Um, that's what it looks like here. Here are the dividers. This is $3 from Target. And you have the monthly pages as well as the weekly pages, which I really do like. So I thought this would be perfect. I actually cut up my Erin Condren um life planner from 2016 to put into my new doki book disc agenda for right now but i could definitely switch on to these if i wanted um it fits but it is hanging over a little and then i got these cute little planner accessories um it's got some tags and then this is like kind of washi tape type material i believe so I thought that was cute and then some stickers so I thought those were definitely something cute to just use um, you know planner things I don't hardly decorate with exception to holidays so I'm excited to try those hey guys sorry about the air conditioning in the room I'm in my bedroom right now I just got a package in the mail via FedEx and it, you guys, is from Kit Life. If you haven't followed me a while, you planner crazy people like me, then you know what this is in here. It is the 2017 Kit Life Planner. It was just recently released on their website. Um, they did pre-orders, I believe, a few months ago. But Kit Life sent me this planner. Oh, I love being a kit girl. This is so awesome. I'm going to show you guys a little sneak peek. And then that is it. Oh my gosh. What is this? Recipe for your perfect planner. I like that. Oh, goodies. I always love the treats and the confetti that they have in here. I always end up saving them and like laminating it for a dashboard. You guys, it's hardcover. It's hardcover. Oh, this is smaller too. Well, I'm going to pull out my 2016 Kit Life Planner as well as Past Planner and go through this with you guys in a full video after I actually go through it, take a look at the insides, really work it out. I'll have a review slash first impressions for you guys, but I'm super excited. So I wanted to share that. Oh my gosh, you guys, this you guys, this is a hardcover. Eek! Super excited. So be um, prepared for that. I also have the Doki book one coming up soon as well from the disc agenda, um, which I've already technically moved into. So I'm super duper excited, you guys. Hey guys, good morning. So it is Veterans Day and I am actually heading into town to go to the Target because the Nintendo um, box that like that hard drive with like the 30 some odd games or whatever 
is going on sale today. So I'm gonna go pick that up. Hopefully my eldest isn't watching this vlog um, with the twins, because they always watch videos and stuff. But I'm picking that up as part of their Christmas presents this year. We were trying to figure out if we were just gonna let them just have it early anyway, but we're just gonna throw it in the Christmas presents because they're not expecting it at all. So it'll be something cool. I hate, I tell you, when it comes to like Christmas, I always, always shop early. But the problem about doing that is the fact that it's hard for me. Like I sit down and wait and count the days and it seems like it takes longer to get to Christmas because I'm always so excited for everybody to open their presents. But, um, yeah, so that's what we're doing, or that's what I'm doing. So, because the boys don't have school today, it's my husband's normal day off. Um, I'm just heading into town to go take care of that, and then probably run some errands while I'm in there, and then head home, get some house cleaning done, because um, it's a Friday stuff like that we're not sure what we're going to do it's actually pretty warm out but cold I'm in jeans right now it's like crisp air right now for the morning and what is it it's not quite eight in the morning yet so I'm gonna go ahead and head on over and yeah see I told you guys it's such a beautiful day today my goodness it's, we should be going to the beach today man beautiful so I just came from inside of Target I had to line up outside the line was super duper long and apparently our local Target only had 12 systems for the Nintendo 12. I was originally told that they would have like 68. So I'm not sure what happened to that whole mess. But it was so funny because the guy in the electronics section is saying that they can't take pre-orders they can't take because they're supposed to be getting more in the day before thanksgiving so they can't take pre-orders they can't take rain checks they can't do any of that stuff but people were bypassing him and going to the customer service desk with basically using a new person there and doing their rain check there so I'm not too sure what's going on, what happened to that whole hoopla. I, like I said, told was told that there were going to be like 60 something available. And so I was like, okay, that's great. Because I was like maybe 18th in line. But it didn't make any difference. So my goal is to get home, try to purchase it on Amazon. And if not, then shocks. Like I didn't, I knew that it was gonna be a lot, but I was thinking 60, I'm here before the store opens, had choke. And there really should have been enough, but um, I guess they didn't get that much. And one lady was like freaking out because she said, you know, my son works here and him and his friends were able to buy theirs ahead of time. That's not fair. I was like, well, lady, if your son was able to buy his ahead of time, then why didn't you buy yours? Like. Stop freaking out at the guy. The poor guy that was in the electronics department was like, ma'am, if he was able to buy it, I'd like to know how because I couldn't even get mine. So, yeah, craziness anyway. But I am going to go to GameStop since I'm right here just to double check and see if they do have it. But I'm hoping that I can snag it on, um, on Amazon today. We shall see, and um, yeah, I'll be sure I'll share with you guys and let you know what's up. <laughs> Okay, just hold your rubbish for now. <laughs> 